So this time from the Captain America movie line, we have figure number five, the heroic age Captain America. Bucky has taken over the role of Captain America. So let's take a look at the back of the package here. And you can see that they have a write up here and pictures of the other figures in the line. He does have a gimmick shield, unfortunately. Uh, it is a bladed shield. And um, so let's take a look at that gimmick. Let's get it out of the way. It kind of has the same design as, as a regular normal shield would, but you can see the raised star here in the center and if you push that the blades will pop out of the sides uh, I don't know why they chose to do that because uh, apparently when this Captain America throws his mighty shield not only will people yield they will be cut in two it's pretty severe it's kind of ridiculous if you think about it um, and it's oversized and gimmicky, and it's unfortunate that they didn't include a second shield as well uh, that was normal. Uh, but he does have two other accessories. He's got a pistol that he holds pretty well. even puts his finger through the trigger. And he's got a holster to put it in. He's also got a little uh, sheath here for a dagger or a knife. I guess I would rather be a combat knife. Um, and he holds that pretty well. You know, those two accessories, uh, you know, they don't really make up for the sh loss of a regular everyday shield. Um, but... Uh, it's nice that they included them. I could, they could have just been part of his belt, uh, you know, molded in there. Um, so when I take a look at the buggy cap suit here, you can tell the differences. There's a little bit of bleed through of the red and the white together, kind of making a pinkish white instead of a solid white. Um, that's too bad. But, you know, there's, I do like the blue color, metallic blue, that they use here. Um, other than that, he's black, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there are some details uh, around the belt here. You know, he's got some pouches there. And, uh, no, that's it. Uh, his gloves are a nice metallic red as well um i don't know why it does work in case i didn't mention it here he's the shield has got the flip clip and peg system so he can get clipped onto the wrist uh there he can peg and hold it in his hand like that or you can take it and put it in the hole in his back and have him carry a shield like that. Getting into the articulation, his head goes left and right, up and down very nicely. Arms go all the way around, out to the side, bend and rotate at the elbow, rotate at the wrist. He's got upper torso articulation, moves him 360. Uh, around uh, slight side to side movement and up and down movement. Uh, he's got the um, rotating joint here at the hip and rotates at the upper thigh to bring his legs forward. Um, you know, the, they do require some manipulation. You know, they work better than some of the Marvel Legends figures that Hasbro has put out. Now I do notice that he's got, I think, 
because of his way he was packaged. Maybe this is because he was soaked in water as well. But uh, his leg is kind of bent out to the side there. I don't know if that's all figures or just mine. He does have the double knee joints and his ankles bend and rotate fairly well. Let's put his really bad gimmicky shield on him. There we go. There's the heroic age Bucky Captain America. And uh, stay tuned for more reviews of these uh, Captain America figure movie figures. And until my next review, I'll see you.